thing of paper for our classes and um, she does a tremendous job of balancing both academics and athletics. I mean, if you want a person who has it all, I mean, look at Tia Gibbs. Like you said, she's finishing up her MBA. Um, she's she's a seventh, sixth year senior on our team. Um, she, she helped us go to a national championship even though she wasn't on the court. Um, her leadership off the court and willingness to help those that could play really helped us go far last year. How much like, respect that she could sort of command, you know, I mean, is she pretty much say anything you want and you guys listen to her? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> and even the coaches, um, in the middle of practice, they'll reference to her, you know, the Coach Walls will be like, Tia, and then he'll say, you know, something, isn't this true about da 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 So even the coaches, you know, go to Tia, and, and she has a lot of respect on this team. And um, we just consider her our mom and kind of the main leader of this team in any direction you go. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate it. Coach Walls has called this, you know, the best team he's had since he's been here. Which, as a as a player on this roster, what's your opinion of it? Um, well, that's a huge honor because we, I think we were talking on the bus. You read it on Twitter or whatever. Um, you know, the coaches don't come out and say that to us, but um, to hear him say that really, I think. Um, lifts our spirits and our confidence knowing that if you look at each one of these players on this team, we don't drop off 1 through 15. Um, and if you if someone gets in foul trouble or someone's just not having a good game, you can throw any given person off the bench and we're not going to skip a beat. So um, to hear him say that I think really gives us confidence and um, just excited to see what happens this season. Yeah, you were you, you were talking about Tia, Asia as well, got some big talents coming back as well. Yes. We're very excited and just to see the depth of this team, um, you know, like, like everyone's said you know Shante Dyer, Asia Taylor and T Gibbs were once starters on this team on these teams and um, to have them back knowing what their experience and, and what they've learned from sitting out and they, what they can bring to the court uh, from that is just going to be tremendous and uh, you know I'm excited to play with Shante and Asia down in the post especially. What's the, the mindset of the team you guys were just in the national championship game you're in the same conference as UConn what's the mindset knowing you're going to continue to face these guys. Oh, I think we're very hungry, yeah. and I think we're very motivated, and our coaches do a good job of reminding us every day, you know, you can't just be content with, um, you know, what we've got right now because now people are coming after us. We're a target. Last year, you know, the Baylors and the Connecticut's were the targets. We're a top program now, top five in the country, so any given night, you know, any team's going to come out and say, hey, this is this is our Super Bowl. You know, we're playing University of Louisville women's basketball, so um, the coaches remind us every day. You know, don't settle for where you're at. Always be hungrier, and we're trying to be at that level where Connecticut's at. Um, they're they're kind of like the giant now since since Brittany Griner's gone, and um, you know, since they're in our conference, we're going to be facing them a lot. And I think we have the depth like they have now to compete with them and, and to beat them. And um, from uh, we know what it's like to get to a national championship, so we have no excuses not to get back there now. What do you, do you think like it's going to take to beat a team like UConn? beat a top line because obviously they're considered the big dog on block. So. Yeah, it's going to take our depth and everyone on this team. I mean, all the way down to Imani Henderson, even though she's a freshman, she's very talented, and the coaches have told her, we need you this year with her power and strength. Um, so it's just going to be having everybody ready and ment you know, mentally more than physically ready. Um, you know, Coach always talks about, you know, we're physically fit and we're, we're able to physically play with teams, but are we mentally able to play with a team like Connecticut? Because um, they're a very disciplined team. They, they – um, listen to what Gino has to say, the players do, and they execute to the team. And I think that's our next step is willingness to everybody be on their game and to execute mentally every night. How much do 